just last week that Los Angeles mayor recommended that everyone going outside wear a protective mask to slow down the spread of coronavirus. I quickly thought about my parents as they're both still working. So I took out my sewing machine and I started making fabric masks. Fast forward one week later and I've made dozens of masks for others. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. To make this mask, you'll need some simple items that you probably already have at home. You're gonna start off with some fabric, a measuring tape, scissors, thread, a seam ripper, and of course some elastic. Now it's hard to find elastic right now, but you can get creative, use stuff that you might already have at home, like maybe an old t-shirt. I was lucky that I found this one, and it's a string, and it's very soft, and it's also stretchy, so it's great for your um, the straps for your ears. So let's get started here. So you want to make sure that you have three pieces of fabric that are going to measure nine inches by six inches. Once you have your three pieces of fabric, they're gonna be the front, you're gonna have a middle piece, an insert in the middle, and then of course your back piece. In order to put them together, you're gonna grab the center piece, and that's gonna go on the bottom. You're gonna put that on the bottom, and then you're gonna have your front piece facing up on top. And then this is gonna be your back piece. Make sure that these two are facing each other. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the elastic before we start sewing. I don't have pins, so I'm using needles to hold the elastic in place. And you're gonna pin it close to each corner of your fabric. So you put it on each corner, you're gonna pin it down, and then you add the top layer again, or the back layer in this case, and you're gonna pin it all together. And then you're going to sew this whole thing together but you want to make sure that you leave an opening. So I'm gonna sew from, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna sew. From here all the way around, and then I'm gonna stop right here. The reason why you wanna stop there is because you want to leave an opening where you can turn the mask around and it'll, it'll be on the right side. So make sure that you leave yourself a space. Also, when you're sewing, make sure that you go back a couple of times in the spots where you have your elastic straps, just to make sure that they're holding on tight. All right, once you are done sewing all of your mask, you're gonna turn it to the front side. And now that you have it like this, you're gonna create two folds. And you're gonna fold it that way. And I use an iron to just kind of make those flat so it'll be easier to sew. You can also use pins. And now you're gonna sew all the way around the whole mask. Make sure that you go over the hole that you had here where you turn the mask around and then it will be done and ready to go. This is the final product. You have a mask that you can wear out. It has three different layers. It has a back and a front and it's really pretty. It's fashion forward. So remember that the best way to stop the coronavirus is still social distancing. But for now, stay safe and get creative.